Round two of the Benchmark Homes Tour took place out round the foothills of Rangiora on Sunday. And after 135 kilometres of racing, it was a sprint to the finish that decided the top two placings. After dominating round one with a 1-2 finish, the Subway Avanti cycling team looked to extend their lead on the competition. With the first significant break of the race coming when subway riders Hayden Godfrey and Joseph Cooper and benchmark Holmes rider Daniel Barry made a break on the field. However, they were eventually caught by the peloton. However, it was at the 97 kilometre mark that the race really began to take shape, with Cooper and Barry joined at the front again by Gordon McCauley, Craig Lorne, George Bennett and Leon Hextel. The six worked well together until Cooper pushed ahead for the finish, but was pursued by McCauley. And the subway rider had this to say about his chase. Mate, I'm so tired I couldn't eat a six inch right now. But though he may have been tired, he pushed Cooper all the way to the finish line and cast, with Cooper taking his first win of the series, and with McCauley finishing second, extending his overall lead on the series. I felt pretty good. I was, a, I was a little bit tired. I had a big race in Hamilton yesterday and, and flew down last night. My legs were pretty good and, and the team rode well, so you know it worked out really well. And with the premise of the Benchmark Tour being built around encouraging team racing, McCauley couldn't be happier with his team's performance. Subway Avanti team, we finished first and second in the first race. We finished first and second here again today. I've held the lead in the series and, and maybe extended it a little more as well, so, so that's all good and he's hoping to make up for what he regards as a disappointing result last year. I lost the, uh, the Benchmark Homes Tour last year by one point, so uh, you know I'm gunning to try and win it this year. I want to uh, make up for that this year. Having raced professionally for 10 years, McCauley is very impressed by the Benchmark Tour and the standard of racing it provides. Oh, it's really good because it's the only real teams-based racing in New Zealand. You know, there was a, a, a break up the road early on with a couple of my, my Subway Avanti teammates, and and Calford Riker went to the front, Ultimo went to the front, uh, Cycle Surgery Dunedin went to the front. And you don't normally see that in New Zealand racing, so it's actually bringing the standard of, of racing up to a European standard where people actually race as teams and race for a team leader or you know race for the best guy in their team on the day.